Hello and welcome back everybody to the channel and we are playing another horror game and the horror game is a psychological horror game called Silent Nights. In Silent Nights, the plot behind it is the main character is Thomas. After talking to his grandmother on the phone, Thomas realizes that his grandmother is still very sad about the death of her husband. After quickly packing his things, Thomas travels to the countryside, to the house where he often spent weekends as a child to help his grandmother cope with the death of his grandfather. Great, gonna go visit grandma. Hope, hopefully she's not out to get me again, as pre in previous horror games seems to be a reoccurring theme, but we're going to find out if that's the case, if I can redeem myself and become a good boy in her eyes. Anyway, if you guys enjoy watching the content, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate it. You guys are awesome, and let's get into this, shall we? My grandfather died two years ago. Grandmother had been very sad ever since, so I went to the village to visit her. Now we're approaching Grandma's house. What's Grandma up to? Oh uh, no, she's out to get me. Oh shit. Mm. Okay. Cool. Wait, can I explore this whole area? Does it stop me? Because I really don't want to face Grandma right now. She's She obviously hasn't forgiven me. Grandma's house. As a child, I often came here for the weekends. Typical. Not open. My grandparents always had a spare key. It was hidden under a small rock somewhere in the backyard. Alright. Oh, nice to know. This rock? This rock? This rock? There's just so many rocks. But we're not in the back. The backyard just yet, so. Should check there. Should check. Around here. But it should be something a bit more obvious. So, obviously, this is a horror game, so make sure you're blasting those headphones or blasting the volume and you're watching in the dark, because that's what I'm doing. If, you, if that's not what you're doing, you you just, uh, just gonna think I'm being a little bitch. But uh, I like to see you try blasting this in the dark. It uh, can, be, can be very life-changing and life-threatening. Okay, so any rock that stands out... Should be something obvious. Under a rock in the backyard. What is this? It's like a mini house. A okay. camera gets blurry when I go too far. So we're at the front of the house, just not helpful. It's kind of peaceful this game right now, like creepy, but there's a bit of like a. A weird serenity to the music. I don't remember this door ever being opened. Must be this one. Come on, tell me. No, you ain't telling me. This one. Ah, oh, yes. That looks familiar. I 
a gnome. Here it is, let's go in. Man. Wait, what? Okay, so I guess I'm going to the front of the house. That's where it gets open, because the the guys Thomas is kind of hinting to me that uh, that the back door never is open. It's just a spare key you find at the back. How complicated. But hey, that's uh, it's good habit to have so that people don't break in or whatever. No, what? Surely. Oh, I do it from the menu. Okay. We got it. Weird. Note from Grandma. Sorry, I mean, a note from Grandma? This is Grandpa's lighter. He loved this lighter and always carried it with him. He always said he wanted to give it to you, Tom. Great. Great. Do I run out? No. Always keep it on me. Always keep the lighter up and running. If it's unlimited, great. Nothing to be scared of in this game. I need to take off my backpack. It is very heavy. Okay. That's better. Oh. Just automatically. There we go. Can turn stuff on. I don't need lights during the day. Hold. Well, yeah, duh. Silly me. Ooh. I don't remember the door being open. Yes, you said that. And let's just explore everything. Interesting picture. Nice bathroom. It's a very cozy house. It's a little bit of a mess, is it? Grandma's here. She's waiting to... She's waiting to murder me, I think. Well, it's a mess. I should clean up the kitchen before Grandma gets back. She will be glad. Okay, done. What the f- I can't pick it up? But I- Ah, oh, there we go. Heh <laughs> Done. So I right click. Oh yeah, that got stored too. Let's get this all cleaned up. Grandma hasn't obviously been too well. Usually she keeps things immaculate. She's a very tidy person. Is that it? I'll just explore in the meantime. Nothing on radio. It's probably going to turn on automatically eventually. I wonder if Grandma ever watches TV these days. I just turned it off and it's still... Okay, there we go. Weird. Memories. An old aquarium. When I was little, there was a lot of fish in it. They said that watching fish swim calms you down, and it's true. Hmm. Well, the fishes are gone, there's nothing to be calm about. good grandson because I tidied things up. Okay, yeah, I did tidy things up. That got completed. Let's light everything up. Grandfather's TV. He loved watching it. Sometimes he would fall asleep on the couch watching his favorite show. Grandma was always very angry with him when she would wake him up in the middle of the night and find him snoozing. Seems to be a recurring theme of attic. 
use release ladder. Okay. I see. Wonder if those boxes probably burned for all the stuff. Grandma brought them up here herself. God, Lady of Steel. Hmm, nice tools. I thought that was like a Milwaukee. But that's, uh, I don't think that's a brand. Uh, nothing I'm familiar of. Well, these are soda cans that I left last time I came up here. Naughty boy. Who's making that noise? Can't be me, I'm not moving. Can I jump down like... Oh, I have to climb down. This is a very uh, common game. I don't, can't do parkour around here. It's just a walking simulator. Now what's in here? Oh, grandmother's room. I can't imagine how cold inside she must feel sleeping here all alone now that grandfather is gone. Is she hiding in the closet? doesn't give me the option to open, so I'm just gonna assume that she's in there, uh, waiting to... Waiting to stab me, probably. What are these... What are these pictures? Your country. It's cold. It is worth fighting for. Join now. Where am I sleeping? Do I sleep in Grandma's room? Nothing there. The old fireplace. As a child, I used to love sitting here, reading books while it was raining outside. Bingo. Oh, it looks like a cute little cozy bed. The guest room. I always slept in this room when I came over. Can I sleep in it now? Diary. Keep looking around the house. Gotcha. That's what I'll do. Um, I went up the attic. Felt like there was a bit of noise going on around the house somewhere. I'm a little tired. I need to rest and wait for grandmother to return. I think the sofa on the ground floor looks perfect. Oh, the sofa. Here. There we go. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's dark. Not... Red flag. Abort! Grandma's... Ooh, what is that? Yeah, Grandma's, uh... Surprised Grandma didn't attack me on the sofa. Paranormal activity? Damn straight. Oh, blood. No. Blood. Not good. Is that rain or TV? It sounds like TV. Oh, it's... Oh. Who knocked? Is that you? Oh, fuck. It's dark as... Me. Hey. Grandma? Can I turn on the lights? No! I need to turn on the lights! Why? Why don't you give me option? There we go. But why not all lights? Light that up. Light that up, because, uh... Guaranteed Grandma's invisible right now. And she's gonna blow out the lights. I'm on to you, Grandma. Ooh. Flies. Signaling decay. Okay. Let's just stop being a little bitch and go upstairs to see if Grandma's okay. I try Grandma to be a good grandson. Get 
that's all lit up. Head off. Where is the sound coming from? What sound? Okay, my room's locked. Grandma's obviously uh, set a few traps up. Granny, are you back? in the bedroom. Interesting. Still hiding in the closet? Mm -hmm. Lights? Yes. Thank God. Ah, feels more lively now. Now I can breathe. Can't see the lights in here. Matter. I haven't checked the attic. Let's see what the attic has to offer us for horror. Give me your finest horror experience. Well, yeah. And how do I get the. Yeah. I press that to get the light out. Mannequin isn't very scary. Okay, let's get that lit up. My cans. She's probably pissed at me because of the cans. That's why she probably wants to kill me. She left it there as a reminder, a grim reminder that uh, next time I come around, she's gonna haunt me. Okay, so I just can't open this. Not yet, anyway. Something going on. Anything at all? Oh, it's a... I cannot sleep without you. When I lie down in bed, I check to see if you are next to me. Maybe you're lying and reading your favorite book, but when I put my hand where you used to sleep, I understand that you are no longer next to me. Then I start to cry in hell, and I can't stop. In such moments, I go out for a walk and look at the moon because it reminds me of you and our evening walks. I miss you so much. Mm. Sad. My god, Grandma. Had I only known you were so sad. Okay, evening walks should be good. It's raining so hard there. I hope you're on your way home. Plot twist, she's already home. Okay, I'm waiting. I'll go grab something to eat. Alright. Kitchen's the place to go if you want to eat. That doesn't explain the blood on the table. Pretty sure that's blood, not wine. Oh, canned peaches and cereal, that's what I need. When Grandma comes back, I'll ask her to make pancakes for me. Now I want pancakes. Yum. Oh. Oh. What the... More like what the fuck is going on. Whispering. Could be Grandpa. Not a far-fetched idea, right? Ooh. We love to dance. God, how much we love to dance. I remember the first time you asked me to dance. Our favorite song was playing. The song we later chose to dance at our wedding. And I so badly want to dance with you. Just one more time. I want to hug you and for you to hug me. I want to lay my head on your chest again. I want to feel your s sorry, a bit blurry there. Your scent and your touch, my love. I want to eat. My stomach's growling. Still, paranormal activity. That's weird. Are you gonna notice a blood yet, Thomas? Ooh. Okay.
obviously a TV up there. Like, nothing strange is happening in here, is there? Just I can turn on everything but those lights. was that I have no clue but another letter to read I miss the way you watch TV at night always been mad at you but now I'd give anything to hear you watch it to hear your footsteps when you go down to the kitchen to eat at night and how you would snore falling asleep I miss the feeling when you would come to bed in the middle of the night you'd lie down and hug me so lightly you never wanted to wake me up but I would wake up anyway and smile. How I cherish those moments. It was always so warm and cozy. It's so quiet here without you. Quiet and cold. As I read these notes, my eyes start to well with tears. I also loved my grandfather very much. Okay. I lost my appetite. I'll take a shower and go outside just to look for grandma. She's not back then. Oh no, the power went out. Probably because of the, of the rain. I'm scared of messing up electricity, so I won't try fixing it. Better look what? Ooh. I'm not an electrician. So that's the achievement I got. Alright, all showered up, Thomas. Okay. Footsteps. Grandma, is that you? Shit, yeah, it is. Okay, so when I ever hear that, I'm in my diary. Find Grandma. Actually, that's a weird combo. Something I don't have for dinner. Hey, Grandma. Where are you at? You're starting to creep me out. Hell, you're always creeping me out. Something's happening. Oh. Grandma, are you here? Are you okay? What did you close? Why did you close the door? Oh, shit. Okay, I'll go make some... Make you some tea. Yeah. Sounds good. Maybe that will calm you down. Am I crying? Where are the tea bags? It was my kitchen, I would leave the tea bags somewhere up there. Okay, that's uh I don't like the the flies. Grandma, are you here? Is everything alright? I hear you crying. Stairs. What happened there? So, falling down the stairs and what? Okay. Right. What's happened here? She's in the closet again? Or is she gonna like appear out of nowhere? I can't live without you, my love. I'm mad at myself, mad at everyone. Sometimes, out of anger, I start to smash everything around me. I destroy everything, just as I destroyed our lives. You died because of me. 
It's all my fault. Yeesh. Alright. Oh god, Grandma blames herself for Grandma's Grandpa's death, but it's not her fault. Or maybe it is. Maybe we just, uh, you know, don't know. Okay, this is getting creepy. Check the door. Okay. I checked the door. Now can I check the closet? She probably did something messed up. Grandpa probably didn't die from natural causes. What a twist. Yeah, what a twist that would be. Probably is true. Grandma's crazy. Oh, you son of a... What are you... If that's grandma, that, that's a weird looking grandma. Hey! I need to check if the door is close. Yeah, okay. It's locked, yes. Anything else? I need to figure... I, I need to find the key to the main door and go outside to look for Gram Grandma. Really? Uh, grandpa. The the achievement I just got said grandpa. That's a demented looking grandpa. Oh my uh. Not cool. You loved hiding things so much. I was very mad at you because of this. You even hid the dishes. And when the guests came, I couldn't find anything. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry that I fought with you over such petty things. I wish I could turn back and laugh about it. When I was little, my grandfather liked to hide my toys under the cupboard, sometimes even under his pillow. Hmm. So grandpa was cheeky. No. Okay, now where do I find the keys? I mean, if I was to stuff the keys, it would be like, I don't know, kitchen area or something? Like. Oh, here we go. Need to pick up the key. Cool. Key near grandma's bed. Note to self. Okay, let's find grandma outside and something's gonna happen. No whisper. <laughs> Fire, what was that? It looked like the nun. Oh, my jaw. Oh. Okay, it's dark. Oh, it's dark. I'm pretty sure that was Grandma, dressed as the nun. Oh. There's a time limit to these things, to the candles. Oh, no. Shiza. Um, open the door. What the <laughs> Okay. I can unlock the door, right? There must be another door somewhere. Yes. Um, there's the front door. Weird shit's about to happen. Okay, unlock. Let's do it. What? It's not letting me unlock it? 
Ah, oh, not cool. It just ah. Uh, I guess like it makes sense. The game wants me to stay in this house, so I'm guessing the lock must be for here. Yeah. Oh fuck. Forgot about the store. Okay. All right. Give me your worst jump scare. Come on. Do it. Come on. What do you want? Want a piece of me, Grandma? Are you hiding in here? Doesn't give me the option, so whatever. Oh, okay. Um, obviously something's gonna pop up when I start going towards the front door. Yeah, cold it. Yeah, some. We're, what the heck is going on? Oh, I forgot. I need a flashlight. It's too dark and raining outside. Um, where's the strange sound coming from? Uh, don't say that, Thomas. Don't say that. Uh, it's too dark outside. Yeah, need a flashlight. Is a flashlight here? My backpack? Anything? No. Um, yeah, find flashlight. That's yeah. I, I I got I got that, Thomas. I guess it wants me in, to investigate the sound, but I just kind of want to not do that. What is that flying? Oh. Sounds like the Grudge. Did you did you guys hear that? Oh, he's groaning. Oh, no. Is he burping? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, sh he's like every... Okay, so my headset is telling me he's on my left right now. I go here. And now I hear him on my right. He's like standing here. Yeah, that's creepy. Oh, you know what? It could be up in the attic. That's what I'm hearing. Ah, yeah. Not so creepy after all. Actually, a logic to it. Oh, shit. Uh. Oh! Wait, um, is it like hinting that the flashlight's up there? May I'll I'll just double check. Wait, wait, what's causing the light? Oh, you give me. <laughs> Luckily, <laughs> alright, cool. That's better. Now I'm gonna take a raincoat. Are we really gonna go outside? Flashlight, nice. Nice, even more creepier. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no, I just like, as far as creepiness, flashlights really just, I don't know, something about them rather than flashlights, it illuminates your surroundings, but here it just points towards some, directs the light straight. To me, it, it makes that scarier. Raincoat. Hello. Hello, Georgie? Okay. Yellow raincoat. All right, let's go. Yes, I'm outside. Ooh. Okay. Alright, we're actually outside the house. Can I actually get... Yeah, I could have done this all along. Just bring this. But, nah. Flashlight's better. Yeah, sure, why not. Road closed. Hmm. I think Grandma went the other way. And now this game takes place in a forest. In the silent nights. What was that?
<laughs> oh. Like, I heard something, but it was like delayed. That that was weird. Like the delay scared me. If that makes sense. All right, so I've got two ways to go to check out. Well, so this is like a little abandoned hut area. Ooh. Uh, that that side looked less creepy. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna regret this. Oh, something's moving. Sounds more to be in there. Oh, blood. No. What? Why is my... The light went out in the house? Ooh. Cabin in the woods. Oh, fuck. Grandpa. Is that you? Or is it Grandma? Nah, it's like a nun. It's the nun. Oh, fuck. Oh. Okay, hello. No, you're gone? Okay, fair enough. Now, now I'm getting the the creeps. What the? F that is a weird picture. That is a weird, weird picture. Just make sure I like. Maybe it's not a good idea to light all this up. Now I'm thinking about it, because this could be like a, a way to start a ritual. I don't want to do that. But yeah, w whatever helps uh, illuminate things, helps me see things better. Creepy. So what's that grandma? Well, what what is that? It's like the nun from the movie. Okay. It's just probably a deer. Road closed. I can go through here, right? Construction works. I need to ask the workers if they have seen Grandma. Construction, construction workers. Wait, does so? Does this path lead to the cabin? Back to the cabin? Uh, probably. Um, just worth checking this out first. So we've got a generator going, that uh, makes me feel a little bit better. Sure is loud though. Oh ho 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 ho! Uh, I jinxed it, didn't I? Oh no. Alright. There's what ha- oh! Anyway, who the fuck are you? Okay, you disappeared. Oh god, who was that? Probably Grandma. Thomas, you went outside, you little shit! That's what she's saying, you can imagine. Is that an? Is that something, or is it nothing? No, it's nothing. Oh, it was a box and had a note on it. All right, just gonna go here. God, I walk so slow. Like this is. All right, so this is me walking normally, and then this is me running. Running, not running. Running, 
not running. Running? Not running. Okay, so it doesn't lead to the cabin. That's why I that's why guys I light things up. So that I can still see it from a distance, you know? Oh. I hear something. Ooh. Bigfoot? Is that you? Probably it's Bigfoot. Anyway. Is that a totem pole? Red flag. Uh oh. Is that someone? Where are the construction workers? No notes yet. Great. So there's nothing in there. Nothing here at all. So it splits off two directions. I'll go here since it seems like the most obvious one to go to. But if there's a dead end, I guess I go um, to the right side. Nothing there. Okay. Oh, was that? No, no. Just my imagination. Oh. I hear you. All right, let's just keep keep going. And the roads meet up, so I'm guessing that no matter what path I took. Something different, probably a different experience would have happened if I came in there. If I walk from there, maybe. Anything? Oh, right here. All right. I can't see anything, but as I guess I can. Okay. For trap. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Here, I can read it authentically. Okay, that, okay, I'll read it for real here. For travelers, if you get lost in this forest, just ask the spirit of the forest, oh no, and he will show you the way home. Not good. Alright, for those who wonder, if you're lost and need to get out at all costs, just take the fruit and bring to him the one who lives in forest or dim or whatever. P.S. The say he loves. The say he loves apples. That's not correct. They say he loves apples. Lol. In the forest dim. Take or release apples. All right. Cool. Can I store it? My backpack or something? No. Nope. I'll give him a dirty apple. Hello? Hello? light year. Anyway. Oh, fuck me. A trick. Bit of a trickster there. Do not enter. Well, thanks for letting me know now. Could have said, like, at the entrance, but you had to say it, like, hidden on the right. So, too late. Did someone lock the door? What? to me. There we go. Well, kind of 
I gotta read this now. Captain, the rain is getting heavier. Oh fuck, who what's the Oh fuck, what the fuck is that in the corner? Alright, I'll just finish reading this. Just bear with me, guys. The rain is getting heavier and the radio is busted. I'm leaving you this note, as I've been informed they called you in and should be on your way here. Our squad is moving out, otherwise the rain might wipe out the killer's traces. We asked construction workers nearby whether they'd seen anything. No one reported seeing anything or hearing anything out of the ordinary, apart from crying old lady, Grandma, walking in the direction of that strange totem. Uh-oh. You don't think some grandma could have done it, do you? The footprints we found led, led towards the lake. Judging by the size of them, it ain't no grandma. I'll give you that. <sighs> Alright, let's face whoever's spazzing out. Oh, could it be the apple spazzing out? Oh. <laughs> okay, just the apple. Wait, where did the apple go? Dude, it disappeared. Did the... <gasps> Oh, the spirit ate the apple in front of me, and I didn't even see it. Oh, wait. What am I picking up? Is that... What is that? I'll... Yeah, whoever you are, I'll slap you with my meat. Not joking. What, someone whispering? I'll slap ya. Slap ya, silly. Is that Grandpa? Ooh. Oh! I'm so confused. Was that vodka behind? And then she appeared? Are you drunk? No. No, you can't prove it. Sorry, I. This is uh fun to slap around. Okay. Stop the whispering. Oh. <gasps> Ooh. Creepy. She's holding my meat. Okay, no. Oh. Is that a dead body? Gr ew, what the heck? He told me to kill them. I hear his whisper. He always hungry. He told me to kill them. I hear his whisper. He's always hungry. So, oh, this is insane. A killer? Really? I need to find Grandma and get out of this creepy forest. Uh, is it? Uh, this, is it holding my meat again? This bloody thing. Alright. You sick son of a bitch. Wanna get slapped? Oh, fuck. Now I'm out. Oh, I'm not checking that. So, uh, what's the objective? Keep looking for grandma? Fuck! Don't you think that grandma's in on this? So do I bring the apple maybe to the totem pole? I'm assuming, well, I went from there, but I'll try here. See what happens. Okay, we've made it to the totem pole. Oh, it's a note. Oh. Oh. That lamp wasn't there. Oh, fuck. Here's the totem. Who the fuck is. Ooh, it's Slenderman? <laughs> With no 
face. The legend of the spirit of the forest. There is an old legend among the locals about the spirit of the forest which helps people lost in the forest to find their way home. But in order for the spirit of the forest to agree to help, you need to give him something. It is said that the spirit of the forest loves fresh fruit, which... Yeah. Which I've done. I think I saw some apple somewhere. Yeah, I just gave... Oh. <gasps> oh. So I kind of skipped a... I skipped a step, but I kind of figured it out. Oh, okay. Is that a path? I sure hope so. What is that crackling noise? Okay. Oh no. So many questions indeed. Is this the end? my grandma, she was sitting by the lake crying and freezing all alone. I immediately ran up to her, I put my jacket on her shoulders and said, everything is fine, everything will be fine grandma, let's go home. Redemption arc, there we go. I wonder if there was a different ending to this game. I have a feeling that there was a bit more I missed. Well, there, there is different some, definitely something I missed, I reckon. Just with the meat and what it was telling me to do. Like, throw it and feed. Like, maybe that was a direction in the wrong... Like, maybe that was a bad ending. But instead, uh, fed some apples to the totem pole and, yeah, found my grandma. Yay! So, anyway... If you guys enjoyed watching me shit my pants a few times, enjoyed the story, enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out so much and I appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you all in the next one.